All right, so in this video, I have a um, new Mixars Primo, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do some uh, quick uh, updating, firmware update, and uh, preparation uh, for the machine to make sure you've done everything correctly and everything's working properly. All right, so uh, first thing we want to do is um, we want to make sure that um, we're up to Serato version 2.1. So uh, if you've downloaded Serato 2.1, uh, they recommend your Mac should be at least 10.12, uh, which I believe is Sierra, which this computer is at Sierra. If I go to my About Mac, I am at Sierra 10.12.6. So make sure that you, if you're running 2.1, which you need to run with the Primo, that you are also running at least 10.12 on your Mac. All right, and on the Mixer, Mixar's website, if you go to mixars.com, we want to uh, go to support and download and um, basically you want to come down and get the upgrader here where it says update updater and instructions for duo duo mk2 and quattro it's also for the primo it also works for that and you just simply click on that download the file and um, you will need java to run this um, updater so if you don't have Java, a good way to find out right away usually is if you go down to your preferences here, you'll see in your system preferences uh, that you have Java down here. You can see that I have it. So I've already installed Java. If you don't have Java, you can just simply go to Google and uh, put in Java and then go to java.com and download it for the Mac. Uh, free Java download right here and just follow that process. And then once you have Java on your system and you've downloaded the um, upgrader you should get a file that looks like this I have it on my desktop here it just says duo firmware updater app 2 um, and once you, it looks has a little coffee cup on there so once you have that application downloaded you can simply open it by double clicking on it and you'll see again it says duo but it works for the Quattro and the Primo and this is what it looks like. So basically what you want to do is you want to you want to put the Primo into uh, upda update mode uh, or firmware upgrade mode. And um, before I do that, let me just go back to the website real fast. And we also need to download the Primo bin file, B-I-N file. And down here at the bottom where it says firmware for Primo, that's where you download the, the bin file. You'll get that file in your downloads folder, <clears throat> which I've already downloaded. So you'll see it here. And here you'll see it says Primo version 1.09. Now it's important, don't click on that. That's not something we're gonna just click directly on. Instead, we are going to the updater and we're going to open file and then search for that file and insert it there. But before that, let's put the Primo into firmware upgrade mode simply by holding down the two Q buttons here and pressing the power button at the same time which I can't do because I don't have a third hand so I'll just reach around here and press the button and turn it on so you can see when you're in you can let go of it after you push power you can see once you're in firmware update mode that the LEDs keep going up and that just lets you know that you are ready to do the update all right, I've got my um, USB connected directly to the, the uh, Mac, not through any hub or anything. And I go ahead and I open file on the updater. And this brings me to my downloads folder where I downloaded the Primo version 1.09 earlier, as I showed you. And then you just go ahead and open here and you'll see it'll tell you install firmware version is currently 109 update to version 109 so even though it, it yours might say that go ahead and do the update again just to to restore factory default on the uh, unit make sure that everything's uh, set so I hit start and you can see that it's it's running the, the updating process
Okay, so anyway, I'm at 60 something percent. Um, to save us some time, we're going to go ahead and pause, and then when this is done, well, you know what, I'll let it just go through. You can see the whole process. All right, so it says successfully updated to version 109, and then the, the Primo reboots, and um, that's pretty much it. That's the upgrade process. So the next thing I want to show you real quick is how to clear out the MIDI studio. Uh, if you're not familiar with the audio MIDI setup in a Mac, simply go into your applications and go down to your utilities folder, usually at the bottom. It's in alphabetical order. And under Utilities, you will see Audio MIDI set up. It looks like a little keyboard. And go ahead and open that app. Once that opens, you'll see, if you're not, you might be looking at your audio devices. See if I show audio devices in the window drop down. That's my audio devices. If you're looking at the white screen with your built-in input and microphone and all that, then just simply go to the window drop down and then say, um, it, it'll probably say, Show MIDI Studio. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to just hide my audio devices. And yeah, you'll just want to show MIDI Studio. Once you see the MIDI Studio, it's this gray screen. It has all your MIDI devices in it. Right now, I have just my Primo. So what I want to do is I want to shut off my Primo and make that highlight go away. See how I get the, it's no longer highlighted. So I can now click on it and select it. And then I can come up to my minus sign here and just delete it. Okay, so now the old device is gone. When I turn the Primo back on again, you'll see the new device gets picked up. So you definitely want to make sure you do this after you do the firmware upgrade. So you get rid of the old device, bring in the new device, um, just in case there's any changes or any corruption. All right, cool. So that's the, that's the second part of it. First part is the upgrade. Second part is to clear out the Audio MIDI Studio. Third part is to do the um, jog wheel calibration. And with the jog wheel calibration, let me get my notes. It's just uh, three simple steps. There's really nothing to it. Let me grab my notes and then we'll go through that. All right, so fader calibration, oh, I'm sorry, jog wheel calibration. I have my notes here. Basically it says to press and hold. So I'll have to turn off my Primo again. It says to press and hold the noise and filter buttons. Noise filter buttons here. And while holding those down, it's kind of like the firmware upgrade, except now we're going to power up uh, while holding down noise and filter. So i got to use my hand again here. Okay, so I've powered up. And then it says avoid any contact. Do not touch the jog wheel during the calibration and while pressing the shift button. So I guess I can let go of these guys now and I am in calibration mode. And the next thing is to just hit the shift button to save the parameter, but you don't have to touch any of the jog wheels. You don't have to calibrate anything. I guess it's self-internal calibrating somehow. Um, so I hit that, and you can see the Primo comes back to life, and its calibration is most likely done at this point. So there we've got that. Okay, so cool. We've got our Primo showing in our MIDI studio. We've got the calibration done. We've got the firmware upgrade done. Next thing would be to just open up um, Serato Pro and, um, and then make sure everything's working. So uh, I know this Primo works. I've done, I've already tested it. Um, and hopefully uh, yours will work now. So in my case, I've got connection here and I can go ahead and load some songs. And um, deck one. Deck two, and go ahead and play, play. Oh, we gotta hook our audio up, of course. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got control there. And I've got control there. So everything's working on this Primo. And hopefully yours will too. If not, uh, let me know. And we'll see if we can resolve. Thanks. Bye.